So this week I thought about what do I actually record? So here's a vlog. Let me show you why I've been MIA from this channel just a little bit as far as like sit down videos and things that I want to talk about um, with regards to digital products and business and all of that getting your life inspired. This is what I've been dealing with trying to make over a space in stages. Now when I first started this project I was like, oh yes, this is going to be easy. I paint a wall, you know, every day and it turned into a nightmare um, because there's some things going on in my bedroom that I have to move my entire bedroom out into the living space. And I have to finish some walls because I wasn't able to because they kept coming in and out to check the leak, to check things. So this is the status. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a vlog today. And then I'll include some inspiring things throughout this episode. So I hope you stick with me. I do apologize for the lack of videos as well as the lack of business related tech systems related that I usually and typically do on this channel. I am possibly going to sit that not possibly I am going to sit down and show you how I'm planning my Thanksgiving stickers. So you can use them for fall. They should be, they were supposed to be out. What's today? October 30th. They were supposed to be out October 26th. This, whatever this past Friday was, they were supposed to be out then. But again, because of this mess, I've had to, sorry, that's my washer. I've had to disconnect the internet. The internet went out one day with the leak and the people and the da um, So they're actually going to be out this Friday after this video is up. So wait for them. Um, just a, a little Thanksgiving thing. And I want you guys to let me know what kind of stickers and what kind of videos and what kind of things you want to see from me for this channel. I am a business mentor consultant. I want to help you actually dig deep so that you can make passive income. So I've dubbed myself the passive income whisperer because I want you to be able to do projects like this, go outside of yourself, travel, and still make money. So we're going to talk about all of that through the channel but today unfortunately I got you a little vlog again sorry about the noise this is the state of my bedroom I have shit everywhere because half of this shit is in, in from the living room oh my god these I can't wait to put these on my sheets but I want them to come in and fix this now here's another thing this room because I have to move everything out of here I might actually make over look there's shit everywhere like I haven't been able to do something. It's Sunday. Don't judge me. I usually don't make my beds on Sunday because I lay here for far too long. The only reason why I'm up and out of my bed today is because I took my son to a birthday party. Walked him over to his friend's house. Did a little walking. And now I'm going to finish painting. So this is why this bed looks like hot shit. Flew in here and died. I'm freaking exhausted, which is the understatement of the entire year. <laughs> um, I finished this wall right here that I had already done before. Obviously, the kitchen is still gray, which is child another time. I'm fucking tired. Then I decided to work on my dining area. Um, can't see it through here, but like there and change that up trying to go for a different design i think i'm going to paint that i think i'm going to paint that cabinet instead of being white i think i'm going to paint it this dark moody burgundy color with like wooden knobs i think it will look a little bit more vintage even though the piece is kind of modern it is an ikea piece so of course but again, all of the nitty gritties and all the little stuff will be on, hopefully when I finish the makeover on my vlogging channel. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to kind of show you how I use Milanote to create my projects. But I also want to show you, I think I've showed it before, how I also create like 
any other projects projects for myself whatever the case is so i think i've shown this before i'm a business mentor i'm also a influencer slash content creator so i can i create content to obviously help sell stuff which is one of the passive income things that i want to show on this channel so stay tuned for all of that so that'll be like affiliate marketing and things like that so in order to do affiliate marketing you need a place to send people so you need an amazon storefront you're going to need an ltk account reward style as it used to be called and so forth and then you have to create the content in order to get paid you make it once you promote it put it on your tiktok your instagram whatever the case is and have people shop for it so that you can earn a small commission but it still it still adds up and i'm going to show you um later on how i kind of do that how i kind of add that to my newsletters blogs pinterest all of that stuff for now i want to show you create something simple and quick which is a digital product it depends on what kind of digital products i am making if i am making a doodle i started off on my procreate i don't know the ins and outs of procreate i am psh, truly a novice but i'm taking courses and things like that which if you take courses for your business you can write those courses off in your taxes just an fyi to throw out there in this section as you can see i have a physical creative studio which will be you know in the future i have my creative studio right now which is where i have different communities i will have different communities i will show more of the business once i get this synergy map the way i want it to look but for now i'm working on obviously the template shot and the etsy shop and of course my courses so these things are my passive income so i'm going to show you what i've been working on as far as thanksgiving and how i kind of do things so so i know i'm going to offer a course and how to create digital stickers even on canva or it's mostly going to be on canva so because I don't feel like I am the master at procreate, but I can curate classes that you guys can take if you want to learn how to use um, procreate. So this is the Thanksgiving collection that I'm going to put out this Friday, right? It's super, super easy, super minimal, I guess, but I drew it in procreate. So what I did and how I do it, because again, I'm not an artist, I actually took a mug or a picture of a mug and i traced it and then i kind of colored it in in like this funky little doodle style i've seen this done um some people do have this done with like they almost look like they highlight it but they color just a, like just a little bit outside the line and i think it's quirky um i love it and i'm pretty sure my tribe somewhere out there loves it and so with that i used a i buy tons of fonts i have the biggest hard drive ever for the fonts because i'm constantly buying fonts like i love typography and so i choose different ones depending on what i'm feeling kind of what i'm going for um my suggestion is to go on pinterest find those things that are motivating you and see if your creativity kind of flows out of that because that's where it comes from like i'll look at a picture and i'll see like the color pattern and then overnight i'll start seeing kind of the images form together and so that's why i created these little things like a reef this one is just i imported my own fonts in here in canva and then i did whatever and then i also imported my own um images from procreate into it so what i do is since i do procreate on my ipad obviously i have this sticker upload when I'm ready to work on these stickers, then what I do is I just import them into here and start working them in Canva and start putting together kind of, you know, things I want to do. Now, if you are not working with Procreate, you're not really much of an artist, but you want to use Canva images, you can. Just make sure that when you are using Canva images, you are altering them in some form of way. So, for example, let's find an element. Let's do full leaves right this is just a pure example um let's say you like uh let's say this leaf over here right what canva doesn't want you to do is sell their items as is so if you notice a lot of my stickers is either i doodle them and you'll know because i usually label them doodles 
or I take an image like this one and kind of add to it so for this one I would possibly go into elements and this is all depends on again your style I would go into elements I would kind of do and again this is doesn't have to be like this for you um, this is just an example I would choose another color Let's do this more orange base. I kind of made it a little transparent. I can change the border of that. Let's say I want to do like a cute little border like that. And then I can write in uh, I love full. Something like that. Right? make this smaller and this example would be a modified image then you would go ahead you would download this to your desktop or wherever as a transparent background so forth put them in a folder and then add, you know that other stuff which is like I said I'm gonna do a whole course on so I don't want to get too into it here. I just want to show you like simple things that, that you can do. Um, that's kind of one way I think of it, uh, of doing like an image from Canva to um, create a sticker sheet. So just really, really just think outside of the box basically when it comes to creating it. I can also take the same image and I can edit that. I can give it a shadow behind. So it looks like it's almost coming off the page a little 3d effect and then i can add the word full over it right like that i can change the font you see all these uploaded fonts yeah exactly i could do something like that Maybe put it in the middle or I can add some kind of word here, wordplay. I usually like to layer stuff on top of each other, give it a more, you know, unique um, aspect to it. So you can do something like that. You can choose either any uploaded fonts that you may have uploaded, anything from Canva. Um, so this is what I like to do with Canva, right? I'm going to show you really quickly. So yeah, you can pick a font. Then if these letters are too far apart, because sometimes um, letter spacing can, be a, can feel a little too spaced out, you can either bring it out like this or bring it in like this. So it just depends on what you're going for. I feel like that will look better and a little more together than that big F. So just play around with it. Even if you're not, again, the greatest artist graphically or whatever, it'll come to you the more you look at things. Even if you think your idea sucks, just try to think of something kind of unique and outside the box that you can do with these already done images. That was creating images. What about... You can create like little widgets. You know how people use widgets on their planners? You can create something like that. So let's say I wanted to change this to my favorite. This is my brand color. So this is why this is here, because this is my brand color. Um, let's change the border to like two, like that, All right? Let's add a text that says today, All right? That's my today. Let's add another element box and let's make this one smaller, like this. Let's pick another font because that's too light to today. And let's say you wanted to do lines, right? So we're going, what we're going to do to make sure that we can line up our lines correctly we're going to lock this image you're going to go up to the lock up here we're going to lock it so that it doesn't move actually before i do that before i lock it 
I'm gonna group them together. So grouping them together, you're gonna just highlight the whole thing and press group and it'll, if you move it, the whole thing will move instead of just one. I am gonna change the color of this because it's ugly. Um, let's do this burgundy. Let's change these fonts to white. Again, this is, I'm not doing this. I'm just showing it to you guys. And then I'm going to add some lines. So my lines, make sure they're at zero degrees. Um, let's do the line weight, make it one so that it looks like actual lines. Oops. Let's lock. This is exactly why I lock these elements. Now we're just going to copy and paste that same line over and over again. And in order to get those lines correct, you're going to highlight it, you're going to position them, and you're going to tidy up. So what it does, it gives it the exact amount of spacing in between when you tidy up the image. Okay, And there goes an example of how to make a widget. So the person, if they're selling this, they can write um, whatever tasks they have, they can use this as uh, whatever, whatever you want. This could say today, this could say projects, it, whatever. Um, you can make a bunch of these or you can actually look for elements inside Canva that says, for example, if you want to use you kind of want to do the same thing. We're going to add in a box again, right? Let's say we add this box. I'm going to push it backwards, position it backwards, I should say. I'm going to lock that. And the only thing I want to move is this inside. So if you want to create a quick and this is like who the heck checks your things off backwards if you want to create a quick three box checklist widget you can do that maybe make it smaller make it smaller take some space from the top a tad bit smaller make it in the middle change this to my brand color then i can add a text that says top three top three let's do the Sparta something like that and you've got another image then play around with like elements maybe you want to add a pin right Something like that. Group it together so that you can move the whole thing. And that's it. There is another widget. See how simple that was? Simple. You can make a bunch of these. And think of when you're creating your stickers, your widgets, stickers, whatever, think of how you would use them. Think of every day when you go plan or every week or whenever you plan. Think of the stuff that you constantly either draw out, write out things like that so think in terms of how you plan don't think of terms of how other people may plan think in terms of how you plan and then you can come up with this this is exactly where i come up with stuff it's just the way i think i i do top threes that i need to get done for the day my my kind of like um needle movers for the day i can't go to sleep without having completed these three they're super important for the day think of stuff like that think of the way you plan and create accordingly as you start learning your audience then you're going to know what they're looking for and people will tell you people will ask you oh do you by any chance have um something for this that and the other which is where I, a lot of times i get my ideas like when i do off the wall stuff sometimes it's for me but a lot of times it really is coming from my audience they're like oh do you have a sticker kit for uh, vintage pop-up no but i can create one so at first, when you're first creating them, just start off with how you plan and what you think you need to plan and then work off of that as you start building that audience. So 
this is an example of like a little um washi tape that they have available here as well this is like super cute like if i were if i were doing this i would add like this instead of just the top three like i would add it like that and it looks like you can like you know like you stick it somewhere and that'll be you know your widget so that is one way another super super simple way to create digital products instead of doing like this huge project where you're doing a whole planner think of doing pages so in my shop i only have at the moment a business planner because i needed something to house all of my moving pieces that i can kind of jot down yes i use trello if you've been on this channel long enough you know that to kind of create all of my goals my moving pieces of my business but i like to have somewhere where i can jot down quick ideas for social media things like that and i didn't have something like that i, I wasn't I, I looked through a bunch of planners and they just didn't do what i needed it to do so you know when that happens you create your own and so i really only have the business planner out but i have inserts or templates or pages that you can add to any planner um i've made them as a pdf so they can add it to any planner or as an image that they can overlay over an existing planner page so i have a new month in review i have i'm sorry a month in review the past month in review i have the new month overview i have a reading log i have a beauty routine daily check-in and things like that so you can create the super simple pages as you noticed again my pages they're only two dollars right now they're on 15 percent off so these little template pages which i need to make more of I like doing that because not everybody wants a full planner um, maybe they want to continue to use the planner that they have but they just need that one page that kind of like takes them to the next level right I'm sure a lot of planners do not have a beauty routine template a lot of planners don't have like a check-in thing where you can check in every day um, so this is the beauty routine one this is the daily check-in where you kind of check in at the end of the night and this just has it has your daily summary the things you accomplished today so if you're kind of journaling out your day for better success this is a great option you know for you to check in or whatever it costs two dollars simple add it to any planner so you can do the same and again start off by thinking of how you use your planner what do you do every night what do you do every morning do you want like a morning check-in template do you want a night check-in template do you, you know what is it that you want what is it that you do and we're gonna you know start off there so we're gonna create a design the custom size i choose is this 1365 by 1821 which is kind of like a uh standard paper or 8x10 you could do 8x10 um, as well it's just something I've always used but you can do um, 8x12 8x10 I'm sorry which is just a standard notebook paper so now that I have my base page you can again think of the way your favorite planner is kind of laid out but add to it like what things is missing from that page that you would like or that you constantly see yourself kind of writing over or adding to it every single time but quick and simple way to do this is you're going to go to templates and you're going to do planner and within canva there's so many different planner templates that you can choose and then you can kind of again i don't suggest you take something as is and sell it as your own take something and add to it obviously i use these planner templates as kind of like a baseline you know how you have a model of something and then you kind of go off on your own it's kind of the same way i do this so i'm going to show you just a few that you can um use so let's say you want like a daily plan like this okay um maybe you don't want this schedule on the side you want to change the font the colors like you know make it your own but if you had to, if you had to and you wanted the exact same layout you just want different colors change it up change the fonts change the way that today's schedule is set if you don't want this tomorrow section you can remove this remove that and there's again 
tons to choose from this is a super detailed one if you like something like that anything then what you would do once you figure out your layout once you figure out everything that you like to do with it download it um i download it as two files download it first as a png you want to do a transparent background so that if they have another planner with the white page that they can do it all they're adding is the png image to it and they kind of overlay it the way they want to it's the way i've done it or just add it as a p or not or and download it as a pdf so they're able to add it to any any other planner they can even make their own planner out of just that one page to be honest because it's if they're using like a daily planner and that's all they do is daily plan they don't weekly plan they don't monthly plan then all they're doing is just copying that page over and over again until it becomes 365 days if that's how they choose to use it super simple there's like again a million of them that you can do some are more quirky some are some are a little more basic pick one and then go go on and sell it create your images if, if you're going to sell an etsy create your etsy shop create your images for etsy upload your files promote obviously promote and that's pretty much it that's how simple it is and that's how you gonna get your bag you gonna get this passive money okay you gonna do it and while you out chilling painting and acting a fool you're making money i say fool because it's me i'm the fool that's got all this going on so for me this week has been a slow week and it usually happens when i don't have any drops i haven't had a drop since before so i think the last time i did a shop drop was October 6th and that's the last time I kind of promoted the shop but for this week alone without having to do a thing again acting a fool painting all this crap I have um, at the moment 13 orders so and that's again that's a slow week for me um, usually I get about 25 to 30 orders sitting on my couch watching TV so I need you to get your passive income on and we're gonna talk about all of that in my channel so stay tuned happy whatever today is i'll put it on the screen i actually made my bed i've already failed for the day but once i explain you'll understand i have really bad cramps i get them every single month point is to not go to sleep early because i just kept tossing and turning did not wake up early because i was i had a migraine and i was in too much pain so I kept this, you know, sleeping. I did, however, make my bed, kind of, sort of. I have to undo this room. Um, as I mentioned, they need to come in, fix this floor. And so I need to move stuff out. So the point of trying to get this room cute, not really it. I have to move this coffee table out of here today, clean up all that stuff, and maybe possibly try to shift this bed over that way so that I don't have to take everything out but they can kind of work on this patch right here. Fingers crossed that I don't have to move everything out. Just move some stuff here so they can work on the floor that way. I'm really hoping that they can do that so I don't have to take everything out because now I'm like, where am I going to put this stuff? And then over here, I'm just starting to just clear this up a little bit just because it's driving me crazy and some of this stuff does have a home already. So... Like why not put it in there? I'm gonna take care of stuff little by little as I go on through the day. So basically my whole point of getting up early today so that I can edit this very video that you are watching. However, that didn't work because again, I didn't get up with enough time to give me before I started my nine to five. By 6.30, if I would've gotten up by the time my son got up, which was like in an hour and 15 minutes, I would've gotten a big chunk and then finished the rest at my lunch hour would have been perfection however now i have to edit today on my lunch break and then finish after work um possibly after i make dinner so i really wanted to do that but however that didn't happen here's my other thing has this happened to you guys if you're on my life edit newsletter it went out today um but my good notes whenever well it's casting a shadow but whenever i zoom in too far i'm working on something i zoomed in i'm writing a note blah blah, blah because i need the thing it actually crashes and this is with the new ios 
16 and it's really getting on my nerves. Good notes, iOS, need your shit to get it together, okay? Okay. So, in honor of Halloween, you can't tell because I'm sitting down, but I'm not wearing a costume because I'm ugly enough. Um, no kidding, old jokes aside, I, my son's 11, he's not really into trick-or-treating, at least he said he wasn't, and he also forgot that Halloween was coming, and he hated that Halloween is on a Monday, so there's that. Um, but he forgot to let me know if he wanted a costume, if he wanted to do anything, uh, maybe I should have brought it up, but I'm thinking that if you're excited about it, you would be bringing it up, that's how I thought, parents you know let me know below right now nothing exciting is going on i'm not doing anything for my work on the computer i put out a reel this morning i was i was listening to money affirmations by a youtube creator called you create you creators something i don't know but i'll link it below it's really like i just put it in the background when i'm working on something i kind of put it in the background to um kind of grain what he's saying into my subconscious and I was doing that this morning and yeah I'm just gonna edit at lunch and that's pretty much it for this boring ass video sorry so with every vlog on this channel I want to make sure that I give you a bit of nugget to inspire you to create the life and business that you want whether it's sharing what I'm doing at the moment as far as my business my personal life in order to move the needle forward to the things that I want. I want to show those aspects so that you can in turn get inspired and do the same for you. My meaningless vlogs, and of course it still means something to me because I'm sharing bits and pieces of me behind the scenes, um, will be on my other channel as I keep mentioning. That is my travel, family, home decor channel that I'll be uploading more frequently and it's where next year in 2023 you will find Vlogmas over there and i might even do what is it vlogtober or something like that i haven't decided if i'm going to do both but all of that stuff is going to be over there and i really want to continue and start promoting the both of them so that i can get um different aspects of my life so that you can come here for the more business and productivity hacks and tech hacks and all of that here and then see me do all the other things over there if you haven't already go ahead hit the like button leave me a comment below of what i want to see you creating your etsy shop i'm gonna have a whole course in the membership club i'm gonna give you more details coming up subscribe you know the vibe and i will check you out hopefully next tuesday